Hi, my name is David. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing some pattern knitting. Um, this is called the skipped stitch, but to me it's kind of a ferrule stitch. So today we're going to um, do the sample and uh, we're going to talk about the knitting. So let's uh, see what uh, this is about and let's see how the patterning works. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do an e-wrap cast on. This cast on is really quite basic and this is uh, what I'll be using for this patterning. Uh, this is what the pattern looks like. Uh, it's a number of rows uh, that you've got to work out. Um, it's quite easy to work out because you're only working on eight stitches and overall this is what the pattern is supposed to look like when you when you've done it. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm just finishing off the cast off, uh, cast on I should say, and uh, we're going to do the very uh, first um, row of the cast on, and I'm just going to do a number of stitches so that uh, I can uh, start off the patterning. Uh, with regards to the patterning, it's because the, the pattern is eight stitches, I would only do eight stitches at a time. So I think I had about 32 stitches on this patterning uh, number and it's basically just to fall in line with the pattern. Uh, here I am uh, finishing off the cast on and uh, now I'm going to start on the patterning. Um, it's, uh, it seems relatively easy but you just got to make sure you keep your count and how you do the patterning. Um, with this uh, pattern as well, I'm not going to do all the rows. If I had to do each and, and every 32 rows, uh, it would take a, a long time and the video would be quite long. So I'm just going to do the first eight rows of, of this knitting, just so, so that you can see how this is done. Um, here I'm just adding extra rows uh, before I start the patterning. So that I can uh, st uh, uh, start on on the count. Uh, like I say, I've got about 32 rows on on here. Uh, here you you turn the the, the lever to uh, the slip stitch, and uh, they say the very first stitches you do is that you take uh, one by three of the stitches and then you pull them out, and this is what uh, your first row is going to be. With the knitting it's very much uh, similar to the slip stitch and uh, it's really quite easy to do uh, here I, I've done the first row and you can see that it's uh, uh, looks very similar to the slip stitch but it's actually a kind of ferrule stitch uh, that you'll be doing uh, here is the the loop that you can see um, it's actually uh, um, two loops that I've done here uh, basically, I had to do two of the same rows. So the, the very first two rows you do is just uh, this uh, uh, stitch. Um, now what you do is you change uh, the yarn color because you're going to do uh, um, some more patterning. And uh, this will be the next uh, two rows. So basically, this pattern works uh, two by two on rows. So you re do repeats of, of uh, two rows. Uh, uh, two rows of, of knitting is, is a repeat row. Uh, here I am, I'm putting the co contrast yarn in and uh, now I'm going to do uh, some of the, the stitches that need, need to be done. On, on, the, on the, the third row, uh, it was saying that you got to do uh, basically three by three uh, uh, st uh, stitches that you need to do. Uh, here you couldn't use a ruler like I did the first one. You had to work it out uh, on the count and uh, this is what I had to do uh, for the rows uh, uh, three and four to do the knitting. Uh, because you are working um, eight stitches it's actually quite easy when you work the rows because uh, the beginning row is the same as the, the last, uh, or should I say the beginning stitch is the same as the last stitch, which is the eighth stitch, where you just do the same repeat. 
and it just helps you uh, keep the count going. Um, here I've done the first row and now I'm going to do a, a second row. So this will be row four. You just got to make sure that it falls on the same uh, uh, stitching. Uh, here I had to move my camera a little bit so you could see a little bit of the angle of how this knitting is going to work. Um, I just wanted to make sure that um, uh, the knitting was even. Here I am doing the same same row, repeat row. Um, here I was also testing the row going the other way, uh, working uh, uh, kind of backwards, just so that when I did the count, uh, I could see if there was any issues or if anything wasn't in the correct position. Uh, so this is uh, now going to be the fourth row, and this is the fourth row complete that I'll be doing. Uh, then what I'll be doing after this is I will be changing the yarn and uh, this is how this pattern is going to work. So here I am uh, changing the yarn and this is uh, when i am be going on to the, the, uh, the fifth and sixth row of the patterning. Um, I really like uh, these two colors that I've chosen uh, for the patterning. Uh, it's kind of a brown and an orange color, a burnt orange, and uh, I actually found that it works really well together. Uh, sometimes it's really great to work out um, the colors before you actually do your um, uh, uh, knitting. It's just to help you to uh, see where you want your knitting to go. Um, I found that I love a lot of earth tones. Um, I, I really do like earth tone colors, charcoals, grays, um, I like sea colors as well and I really like these kind of earth uh, tones on the knitting. Here I am um, doing the, the fifth row now and uh, this is how it's worked. Um, you can't really use a, a, a needle here and uh, this is uh, where you've got to work out your patterning. Um, what I also found is when you've got the eight stitches, there's like two stitches at the end and then the next one is uh, two stitches again. So you're actually doing otherwise four or three or four stitches that you've got to work and this is how this looks. I think the, the end part of the row was one needle and the next uh, needle was two needles so it looks like it's three. And But uh, actually you've just got to look at your pattern and make sure you do the um, the correct repeat. Here I've done the first row and now I'm going to do uh, the, the sixth row which is just a repeat of, of the first row uh, which really made this pattern quite easy to do on that aspect. Um, I just uh, sometimes I, I forgot the count and then I had to kind of fix the row and uh, then uh, you just got to uh, fix those stitches as you go along. Um, it can be a little bit time consuming this. I did find doing this kind of knitting very time consuming. Um, it, did, it did take a while just to do a number of rows. And uh, here is the sixth row, which is basically a repeat of the fifth row. And uh, here you can see um, how it's working. And it's basically, to me, it's just a fair row. Um, here I'm changing the yarn and now I'm going to go on to the, uh, the, 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 the 7th and 8th row. Uh, like I said in the beginning, um, I'm only going to do about 8 rows. And the, the reason why is that if I had to do 32 rows, this video would be very long. And, you know, just to do uh, the basic uh, 8 rows uh, is enough just to tell you how this pattern works. Um, you always, were, I always find you do the count from uh, uh, right to left, and that seems to work out better, because if you go to the end of the row and you can see it's not working, uh, you've got odd stitches, or it's not uh, uh, how the pattern should be, that means you've got to just uh, um, adjust and uh, fix the rows that you need to do. Um, this uh, this pattern, uh, um, the other difficulty I had with this pattern is, um, you know, uh, was there anything incorrect about it? You know, was it uh, correct in how it was done? 
you know those are kinds of things I needed to check it's actually pretty correct and uh, I didn't uh, once I got the hang of the actual pattern making it came out easier uh, here I'm going on to the um, eighth row now and this is the last row I'll be doing for this and then uh, what I'll be doing after this is I'm just going to continue with the patterning and uh, just to to see the the final uh, finish of it um, this uh, this yarn I'm using was quite smooth uh, I found it really easy to work with it's a double knit and uh, it was really quite easy to do I did a big a bigger stitch dial than I normally do with the double knit with the double knit I use a five or a six but here I used a seven which I normally use uh, for the Erin or worst, uh, worsted weighted uh, yarns and uh, that's how I found this uh, to work uh, here's the last row and uh, here I'm going to just change the, the yarn and I'm just going to continue on and finish the 32 uh, rows that I need to do Um, here is the the final sample that I did. Um, I did a lot of mistakes on it as you can see uh, there's a lot of unevenness and I think I skipped a few stitches uh, but overall this was the actual pattern and how it went and this is uh, what, what it looks like. Um, it is really quite uh, simple to do in some ways but uh, the row count was quite a lot it was 32 rows to do this pattern complete and so it did take a lot of time and that's probably where I made mistakes because I probably forgot a row to do and then the pattern didn't work out um, they call this a, uh, a skipped stitch and uh, it to me it's more like a ferrule so this is the actual uh, sample that I've done uh, when I was starting out I just kind of realized I was wasn't getting the count right and then I had to start again and then I had to do something else and then I came back and forgot what row I was on and so I just had to restart all over again on on this actual sample um, here I'm using a double knit and uh, the double knit works out just fine um, it's a little bit looser um, I don't know what it would be like with an Erin or worsted yarn so it's just a case of trial and error on the yarns that you, you're going to use um, overall would I do this again? yes I would um, I also uh, discovered that this pattern works on a um, 8 uh, stitch patterning method which is very similar to the push button machines that also work on an 8 uh, stitch uh, patterning so I will be looking at uh, push button machines and seeing if I can find uh, more patterns for for this uh, machine um, overall I, I I'll probably do this again it's a really fun way of doing it and I really like how the colors have worked out um, I would like to say um, this is uh, the end of the video and I will be looking at the next project so I would like to say um, please subscribe and uh, leave a comment and I will be looking at the next project soon.